Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, episode number 25. Um, I've been giving a lot of thought to the series in between the last recording and this one, just because uh, I have like a hard time actually recording now. I mean, not hard time. I mean, it's hot here, but the it's like a frustration which blocks me from want wanting to keep recording. <laughs> and I've narrowed it down to a few things. First of all, not being able to take the engagements you want. <clears throat> Two, especially with Great Britain, just uh, off camera I had to do a lot of foreign stations management, putting some battleships there, <clears throat> moving some ships around, and I think, alright, I know that there is a built-in option just to do this, to put people on foreign stations, <clears throat> excuse me, but from my experience, the unrest level will go up if you don't meet the um, exact requirements. So like, for example, it gives us a check mark in the Caribbean. And it gives us a check mark. I think we're missing somewhere else. Oh, in the Mediterranean and in uh, West Coast. But that's only because I have these two ships giving us the check mark on foreign uh, tonnage on foreign stations. But these are in Northern Europe. Though we still are technically missing tonnage in those places. Now, what I think happens because I've I've done this before. I've done a test, and maybe it's been patched since, but I don't think so. Is as you run the turns. If you are lacking the foreign stations, the foreign tonnage on stations, um, even if it's checked here, okay, and you have ships, if they aren't actually in the places they should be, so if you don't basically micromanage it yourself, you start getting unrest increase. Now, I might just say F it and not worry about it and just let a whole bunch of light cruisers do my foreign stations and then just control the light cruisers that I want. <clears throat> that means I'm going to start losing light cruisers to... Um, it means I will start losing light cruisers to uh, those kind of cruiser engagements and stuff, but, or maybe I'll just do it for my battleships. I don't know, but it's a tough situation. Um, and I'm losing, I'm like, we're losing a lot of things due to RNG. It's, it's fair that we're losing them because we don't have any ships to defend the Caribbean, but um, it just makes me realize how difficult the Great Britain is to play as because the US, which now has a, significantly increased budget over us. So what's this, 70 million over us? Has three times less places that they need to sp spread their ships. They have one, two, three, four. Four places where they need to defend. Four. I have, I think, 12. So we can count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, don't need so I don't need these three so I guess I'm at nine so only two times as many I only have twice well slightly over twice um, the number of places that they have to nine to four versus uh, a budget that they actually have in it so no matter what the density of forces that we expect to face should be twice as high now I don't know it doesn't really feel correct though, because this is the case with Great Britain in real in World War II. This was the case, right? But they they still were able to bring their forces to bear. Like basically, foreign tonnage is kind of like suspended. You don't need foreign stations, foreign tonnage on stations. You only defend strategic points in war. I don't know. There's some. There's like a mechanic which is missing here, where somehow you would be able to fight the enemy. You'd be able to pull your fleet and fight the enemy and where you want to fight them. Like, in Great Britain versus uh, Germany in the First World War, sure, Great Britain had many more colonies to defend, but they didn't have a problem just putting a majority of their fleet to try to engage the Germans in this area. Similarly, I guess you could think of it in, like, the Revolutionary War, which is the only thing I can really speak well about before that. Um, Brit Britain was able to bring their fleet over and, uh, you know, somewhat blockade the Americans, even though, obviously, Britain had so many different other places they needed to defend. And to be honest, the Americans didn't have a terrible fleet at that point. They were able to, I mean, they, they didn't have much. Maybe War of 1812 would be a better example, but I don't know enough to talk. Anyway, this is just my aside, kind of like my ramble, really more of a rant, saying that I'm a bit frustrated by the mechanics of this game, and maybe it's just, maybe it's unfair, but I feel like the game is forcing an added layer of tedium, of mindless clicking and yeah, okay the interface is not good to begin with but um yeah I, I don't know i'm just getting frustrated and i'm trying to put those 
the reasons why I'm frustrated into words. Um, not that the developers listen to this, but just so that one, it makes sense to the viewers, but maybe potentially these things could be fixed. You know, if you just say I'm frustrated, there's no way to help that. But if you say I'm frustrated because of X, Y, Z, maybe those problems can be solved. So, uh, excuse me, long story short, I guess we're going to take a lot of losses here. I was really confident going into this war, but mm, I'm not so confident anymore. I think that we'll be lucky to come out even because they are just going to keep invading. And even though I'm putting, you know what? I think we're going to do something crazy. I'm going to do something crazy. I know that this, I know this is going to be crazy. I know. I know it's going to be. But I'm going to do it anyway. All right, we need to actually rebuild this guy first. Oh, we actually need those. Okay, I'm not gonna do it yet, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna put every ship I have into Northern Europe, except for capital ships. And then I'm gonna put my battleships to foreign stations. I'm gonna leave them like this, and we're gonna just experiment with this unrest level thing. Um, if it's true what I was saying, then we will uh, take unrest hits but no, I almost don't care. Okay, they defeated our forces in New Province. We lost our second uh, colony in this in just this war. We have uh, something which we could not decline in Northern Europe, which is just a bunch of destroyers. This is this is what I'm talking about. If you're gonna make me fight a destroyer battle, I'm just not gonna be happy about it. This is so boring to me. <sighs> Okay, well, let's just do it this way. Squad Max, let's get this over with. I don't care if this is a victory or defeat. I just don't want to fight this battle. So we're going to go in full steam ahead and just hopefully torpedo this St. Louis class. Uh, yeah. Is she really that fast? 25 knots. So we should be able to catch up with her and then land some torpedoes. She is annihilating all the incoming forces. Okay, there. Launch torpedoes. We did launch a spread, but we didn't hit. The important thing is we just launch and land a whole bunch of torpedoes because... Okay, good. Now's the time. Damn it, anyhow. Motherfucker. Oh my god, that was it looked like it was going to be a hit. Pull back up alongside. I don't think we're even going to lose any destroyers in this. Oh, okay, that swordfish does not look good. <laughs> swordfish. Squad Max, you really are only able to get that, huh? Like, whoever is available. Can I control these guys? No. They're going in. Stop them. Do you even have any torpedoes left? Yes, you have all your torpedoes left. All right, let's actually set up the controls so we can see what's going on. Prepare to launch. We probably have landed a few, a fair number of foreign shells as well. All right, got to have some people outside, sorry. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about it. We need to record this. It's been too long. And I don't want to re-record. <laughs> All right, St. Louis. If we let her get away, then she just wins. That's not good. Let's chase her down. 25 knots. I wonder if she's oil or coal, oil or coal firing. Good. Chase her back towards everyone else. Are you? Okay. You know what? Squad max. Oh, your squad max is 16. Are you kidding me? What the heck. Yes, detacher. We have one last hope for torpedo launches here. I assume you have torpedoes? You do. Alright, let's hope that this works then. Um, you're taking hits. What's your speed down to? 15. My god. We just can't get close enough. 
but that's all right. I don't like this battle is just stupid. You know, you, you, this is exactly the kind of battle I would enjoy fighting on the other side. Give me one light cruiser against infinite number of destroyers, and I'm still happy. So that's fine. We'll just you know speed up as fast as possible. I just don't care. The, you know, this is just a silly engagement. And if you force me to to play it, I'm just you know, I can understand when they give you the option to fight these battles and you have to decline, which costs victory points and all that, but if they force you to fight a really annoying battle, it's just, it's not good game mechanics. So. Okay, so despite that, I don't know if we actually, I didn't even see, I think we lost one destroyer. But that's fine, I, I don't, I didn't really care much about that one, <laughs> as I've made abundantly clear. So... What I want to do, I think, is put all my battleships onto um, foreign stations, and then, except for the ones I actually have in the East Coast, I think those are fine there. And Southeast Asia, maybe I can invade. So you go to foreign station as well. And then I'm actually just gonna get every single light cruiser I have. Oh, I'll have to do this by location though. Um, that's not in Northern Europe, and I'm gonna send them back home which should hopefully, okay, I might need to keep some in the Mediterranean, and that's fine. <clears throat> but any place where I'm gonna lose ships, like in the West Coast, let's send these guys home. Northeast Asia, let's just send these guys, eh, I'll leave them there as well. This is the only troubling location. Okay, let's try this. Let's see what happens. Because we technically are satisfying foreign stations, but I think we'll see that the unrest starts to increase. Because we aren't really doing it. Okay, let's let the army take some money. Convoy defense, I'll accept this. Good. Good, we have our dreadnoughts. This is good. Alright, well hopefully we have a better chance of winning this one. This is the the pressure point, the Caribbean. Okay, just stay one side of them. Don't lay smoke. I don't why don't we change you to support? And I'm just gonna engage from range. I think I'm going to turn off new sightings. <clears throat> oh, we want to stay south of them, sorry. So we're just going to move over here, fire at range. Our guns are better at range, I think, because we have much longer range. So hopefully this distance is what, wait, did they, did I, what did I see there? Okay, we, we hit that, good. So this is what I hope distance will do for us. Let's actually go up to squad max. We'll just fight from a distance. If they want to get close, fine. They're going to have to come into our guns to do so. And we're landing a few hits from this distance, so it appears to be a good strategy so far. Now, I'm not going to enforce this engagement. You know, we've already landed a few, excuse me, a few hits. I'm willing to, like, kind of meander over very slowly, back and forth, just keeping myself on the southwest side. Light breeze, there's something worth keeping in the wind advantage. Okay, we found him again. Let's go up to squad max. Maybe keep contact a little bit better this time. Okay, they're still way too far away to launch torpedoes, but this is a good range for our guns. Hopefully some of them find their mark. Turning away. Now we don't want to get into torpedo range, but how far should we push our advantage? Lots of lack of hits. <laughs> I'm going to blame that on our director firing. There's another one. I'm going to turn. I was not going to turn in towards them, but at this point, we're going to take a chance. Okay, head due south. What are you doing, destroyers? Get out of the way. Okay, 
We still have plenty of time to react by pulling away if they get too close. And we're, we're landing 14 inch shells here and there. In fact, the most important thing is that they haven't landed a hit on us yet. So these 14 inch shells eventually will wear down. Uh, these, you know, we just, all we have to do is get one. Okay, now a different group has come close. All we need to do is get one to come to a complete stop and our destroyers can go in and like sh sh sharks to the to a bloody victim, finish him off. But the fact that this is armored cruiser just keeps luring me closer and closer. Eventually the decision is going to not pay off, but for now, let's just keep going. I'm getting a few hits there. Looks like the San Diego has slowed down a bit. Yeah, it's got the San Diego, so let's just swoop after her. There's the torpedo spread. We're actually going to ask for them to engage. Go down to cruise speed as well. There they go. Should be... Yes, there it is. So we're going to claim this kill now, which is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted to happen. Missed that one. You know what, go ahead and come back. Flag them to uh, pull back into formation. Because we're going to be able to just sink the San Diego on our own merit now. Wow, you guys took a long time to get that message. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just keep going then. Steady as she goes. Yeah, go ahead and detach. We'll take all the points we can get. Now, I think the game does block off line of sight behind land, so we will actually have to go the same direction they went, and we're going to cruise slowly along. Let me do it, since I'm not going so slow in terms of like in terms of speed, we're going pretty quick. Let's put on a um, pause on sighting. But otherwise we're just moving a merry 16 knots. Um, there it is, okay. <clears throat> so they completely failed their mission, and what's better is we actually, without taking any damage ourselves, we're able to sink one of their armored cruisers. What does this mean? Basically it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's nice, the victory points is nice, but what we can do with the victory points is only at best take back the lands that they've taken from us. So it's not like a, the situation hasn't suddenly become much better. In fact, we're so low on places in the Caribbean we actually can't even supply the people we already have there, which is embarrassing. Okay, improve in Guant Guantanamo Bay. Just just embarrassing. We've, we've lost everything. We controlled, I think, four here that have all been lost. Um, we lost, let's see, Trinidad, New Providence. We only lost two? Did we have... Dominican Republic? I don't think so. Which one of the, is one of these a big base or something? Why do I... I think it might be Trinidad, which is a big base. Oh, it's only 20. Hmm. Oh, we lost this one as well. Jamaica. Okay, of course. Because <laughs> not all of them were lost to the United States. And I really, I think the thing I keep forgetting here is that I really... Ought, oh, decline this one for sure. They have that many? No, definitely decline. Um, the one thing I keep forgetting is that we should be getting submarines. We just need the submarine technology to jump up one more reliability and then I'm, I'm be willing to, to jump in. And we'll definitely accept this. Cruiser action should be battle cruisers. God, son of a bitch. Game. Um, this is why I did not want to move destroyers into the Caribbean. It's so frustrating that you just get stupid missions like this with just two destroyers. <clears throat> Man, I'm like I feel like I'm one of the biggest enthusiasts of this game, but maybe just because I have like probably a thousand or thousands of hours into it, I'm starting to see like the it's starting to crack around some places for me. So this is just a useless engagement. Of course, we're not going to want to engage against some whatever battle cruiser, armored cruiser, whatever it is. We just don't want to engage. Yes, of course we do not want to engage. Worst case scenario for us is light cruisers. <laughs> uh, 
Let's get up here. Okay, fair enough. Just stupid, a waste of time. Just a waste of time. Uh, and every month it's wasted is actually better for them. Okay, they have a new invasion. I don't even know what we have here. No, I'm gonna decline this because we don't have any sh forces there. Convoy defense, I'm not gonna accept this. Okay, a convoy attack with battleships. I guess this is the best we can do. Ugh. And we are damn close, which is not good. And the conditions are not good either, which is also not good for battleships. Well, let's see if we can pull something out though. Squad max immediately, try to avoid torpedoes. Okay. You know what, let's get this damn armored cruiser though. This damn thing has avoided us. Is it, is it still the San Diego class? Oh, they brought all their ships back. We gotta get out of here quick. I forgot about that. There are all their ships are now in this area. So we're just gonna hit by a torpedo already. I don't know where or how that one hit, but <clears throat> we've done our duty, which is probably sink what two? Yeah, we sank two. So get out. How you doing, Tuba? Think you're gonna make it. Okay, let's get you going real nice and slow. We do need to actually continue to move a little bit though, just to get out of harm's way. Okay, now we'll come to a stop. What is the Valiant? For the love of God, Valiant, whatever. Just do your stupid thing over there, I don't care. Just don't wanna lose the tuba. Okay, she's fine. We're gonna stay stopped just in case. I just would prefer to stay stopped than risk losing the tuba to any kind of bulkhead rupture or whatnot, so. I forgot, of course, that, you know, <laughs> that they had their whole fleet there. <clears throat> still waiting, still waiting. Come on, come on, game. All right. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's obviously a defeat for us, but, uh, eh, minor, minor loss. Not so bad. It's just a waste of time that we, we want to be fighting the big fights, right? We don't want this small... And by the way, let me invade them. I have 101 points. They have 63. I have Dreadnoughts and Battlecruisers. Let's have fair play here. Let's hopefully we can counter invade. Huh. So I invest the money in the army, and that is how they reward me. Oh, we don't have a choice. As long as it's not a destroyer. Although if it's a battle cruiser, I think it will be. I'm not going to be happy either. Okay, go after her. 21 knots, okay good. So we should be able to sink this. Follow from the bow. I don't want to take torpedo hits, so just slowly sink her. Oops. Really nervous about getting any kind of hits against me, so we're going to stay pretty far away. There it is. Okay. Kind of a silly engagement as well, but that's okay. If it goes my way, I'm not going to complain too much, right? So a lot of ships in the Caribbean are like really asking for a fresh breath of air, but it's just damn fool. It's damn foolish. I want to invade them. Have they moved any ships to counter? Yeah, they moved their entire fleet there. All right, let's just wait one more turn. Hopefully, okay. There's submarines. I have battleships here. Well, I'm going to decline this. I... shoot. It's their dreadnoughts against my battleships. I'm going to have to decline. Coastal Raid? 
It worked out for me last time, but it's just not worth the points. Man, it's really not worth the points. No, I want to get the Caribbean action. Ah, they don't even give us the Caribbean action. Darn it. Well, we have this money. It is now going to go full on into submarine construction. So we are just going to invest extremely heavily in this. Like, I don't even know how many that is. Let's get, just get them until we're like negative something. These, I don't think they'll be ready until the next war, but for the next war, we will definitely have some submarine advantages. Okay, so how many is that? I don't even know. 80? I just got 80. <laughs> 80 submarines, sounds good. You know what, that doesn't even sound like enough. Let's get 90. There, now I'm happy. Um, that's gonna basically kill our budget for a year and a half. Okay, this is battle in support of land combat. Convoy defense. No, I'm, I'm just not gonna fight that. This I will fight. This fleet battle in the Caribbean is what I will fight. What they call a fleet battle, yes, I would agree with. Oh. Huh. Yes, good, this is what I want. This is what I wanted to see, finally. Unfortunately, this video has already gone on 27 minutes. I normally don't make these so short, right? But I know that this battle is not going to be a short one, right? We're almost sure of this. Unfortunately, because the, a few of these ships have stayed too long, the crew quality is poor, you can see, which is not gonna help us. It's gonna be very difficult for us to manage everything. Bad crew quality with probably inferior numbers. Um, you just, this could go very, very, very poorly, but at least it'll be really exciting. Now, um, because I've had other content on my channel right now, especially this Cold Waters, which come out, and Battle Brothers, which I just released, Rule the Waves might take this kind of hit where I'm only able to record like a 30 minute episode at a time. So this next one might be broken up into like two or three parts, um, which is, it's dead stopped. It's dead stopped. We have to get in there quickly. When they're dead stopped, they are much better targets. No, just not, don't run where they are, run where they are going to go, which is here. I know that these are just light cruisers, but if we can sink these early, I've always hoped sinking them early would do something, damn it. So these are not even, I'm, that's frustrating. They're not actually separate, they're just like scouts. So these will both go into, um, okay, well there's the main fleet anyway. So I think we're gonna have to go, well, we wanna be on this side, that's for sure. I guess I'm gonna have to reel them back. Yeah. What do we have here? In the chaos. Maybe I, I mean, I might just let them do their AI thing. No, that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> There's the BCs. Can I get control back? I can. Good. Not from you though yet. There it is. Oh, and those are not actual battle cruisers. Okay, we got we we have to pursue that then. Squad max just so I can stay in command range. It's not not ideal that you're having your you're wasting your coil uh, coal burning ships engines just to stay in command range. Well, there's their main fleet anyway. So like I said, we're not going to be able to finish this one on camera right now. So I'm just going to call this video to a close here. Uh, an exciting cliffhanger, yes, definitely. Um, let me try to be optimistic for a moment. It's been way way too pe pessimistic. It's not actually pessimism. It's just kind of exactly how I feel. But that might be pessimistic. Okay. Yeah, I guess it could still be pessimism then. Um, just uh, this could be the big turning point for us, right? If we happen to win this one in a huge way, we could knock a lot of the American surface fleet out. 
I mean, I'm talking like we need like an eight dreadnought to one loss, an eight capital ship like dreadnought or battle cruiser type um, victory over with only like one loss or so. That kind of victory would probably put us in control. Actually, I don't even think it would. No, we're just totally boned. I don't know how we're supposed to win this. <laughs> well, I guess I'll leave that up to my comments to help me to figure out what's the best way of actually getting back into this because this is our entire, this is every Dreadnought and Battlecruiser we have and this is not even scratching the surface of the American fleet. So if we can't solidly win against part of the American fleet, we are hosed. <laughs> anyway, it'll be a fun battle nonetheless. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, and until the next episode, take care.